Hello everybody and welcome back to the Maldiworm Gaming Channel. My name is Maldiworm4975 and today we're continuing episode 3 of our Farming Sim 22 Let's Play. So a quick little recap of what we've been doing on the farm so far. In the first episode we went and set up the farm. I did a speed build for that if you want to check it out. I will leave a link in the description to a playlist where you can see all the previous episodes. Including when we went harvesting the potatoes in the first episode. We also seeded up some fields in the last episode and fertilised them. And off camera uh, I went and harvested the other two fields that had soybean in them so we are ready to go now with a little bit of hay timing that's what i want to do in this episode um, but as you can see here now uh, the four fields that we have uh, are ready to harvest and they all have grass growing in them so if i go to uh, crop types there you go you can see that uh, all the fields now have grass in them now the slightly different color this one's a little bit more sort of like hay looking this one has not grown quite as much yet um, but it's a little bit more green so the greener ones I'm going to keep for silage these ones are going to be more for hay because it's uh, it's grown a little bit more um, but let's go ahead and hop in our tractors, we'll hitch up some of our hay timing equipment and uh, we'll do some of that first. Well, but let's go and unfold our mower here. Uh, it's got quite a bit of reach on this mower actually. Just line it up properly. Now, I'm going to go ahead and mow one field myself. I'll speed it up so you can uh, watch a bit of mowing. Then we'll set a word for off mowing the rest of the field, and then I'll go and do some other stuff so you're getting to see everything that I'm doing. But we want to lower that down. Wait. Lower the mower. And turn it on. And there we go. Mowing um, is quite fast. hasn't grown quite as much as the other one, but that's alright. Still get a bit of grass off it. Yeah, we're going to grass off that. Uh, it's going a little bit slow then. Turn it on, lower it down, and you'll see there that it changes colour. So it turns a lot lighter. And uh, in real life, that is what happens uh, once the sun has baked it for a few days. It changes from grass to hay. It dries out, all the moisture and the grass disappears. 
I'm saying this like I actually know what's, uh, you know, how it works in real life. I have an idea, I've done it myself, you know, I hate time of the year, um, but I'm not a farm, basically. So, uh, I, I've expe explained it as best as I can to the following so hopefully you guys can appreciate that. Um, but I'll go ahead and uh, do this field, we'll scale this, and then uh, I'll grow it up for you. That's that field headed. I think that's how you say it. Headed, headed. I don't know. Um, this guy's still working on this field, so I'm not going to start heading this one um, until he's finished because we'll easily catch up. You've seen how fast uh, the tether goes. That thing's going at 15 miles an hour mowing, but the tether is about twice the size of the mower. So um, we'll leave that there for now. And uh, whilst he's working on that, we'll go and get the uh, windrower and actually make some nice rows of hay that we can go and The way this works, instead of having loads of little, uh, like, bands or, 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 like, rakes, I guess they are, um, spreading out, you now just have one big rake that pushes it all towards um, the gate on the right hand side there and it creates a row. So I'll just show you how this thing works, you'll get the idea very quickly. Um, but it basically takes all the grass of that area and puts it into a nice zone. Uh, basically flings it against that gate, the gate stops from spreading and forms a row that we can go ahead and follow with our bailer. So uh, I'll go ahead and grow this field up and hopefully by then we can set the uh, uh, set the heading on that field there. Get the field. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger. Step by step, the clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. We will fly above the sky. Uh, shift the road along the surface, there's a whole technique to it. 
and uh, if you get the windrows where they have two um, brakes, you can basically brake it into the middle, so it brings the two sides into the middle instead of just having the one rake. But we've only got this little rake, it's good enough for us, and uh, it's good that feel. We're going to have some nice big room there to go ahead and have a walk. But uh, what I've decided we're going to do is uh, actually jump into the class here and we're going to set him off uh, cutting the next field that's got the grass layer on so I'm not worried about having the grass uh, if we have to drive on there then I'm going to set the fence off heading next field so the field that we've just cut uh, so for now we'll go ahead and cut this uh, that in there, we'll hitch up the tether to the fence, and I'm actually going to go and rent a third rack. I'm going to buy one, rent the one that we can then use to do the bait. Um, because I want to keep it moving along, get a nice pace, and we will be working on this first field, so I want to sort of show you how each bit works. Most of you watching are probably uh, either farmers or interested in farmers, so you know how it works anyway, but for those who are uh, so we'll set him up going there and we'll go ahead and uh, have a look for a nice new shiny tractor we can rent. Alright, so here's what I've decided to go with uh, to please all you Massey Ferguson fans out there. I've gone with the 7726S model. Um, it's got more than enough horsepower to draw our baler and uh, I had a few comments saying when are you going to uh, get a Massey, so I've not bought one but I'm renting one so hopefully you're happy about that. Let's just move the money to out of the way and then we can go ahead and pitch up our Pottinger baler and start making some nice pay bit. Pitch that in there for now. I've got my private number plate on the back of the uh, Ferguson there. This is a big old unit of a tractor as well. This is actually one of the brand new Massey Ferguson's. Uh, I've never seen one of these before. So that's pretty cool. But uh, we're working on this field over here. The one we've been rowing up. So, let's go ahead and turn on the baler. Lower that pickup. And drive over our row that we made. See, well, you probably can't see it because I'm covering it actually. Um, but just behind me, um, you can see like a percentage. And I think about one row is going to be about one, one and a half bales. So you can hear the beeping, it's saying that it's full. There we go, that is full. So we'll go ahead and unload that bale right there. Bail loaded, let's close that back up and then we can continue down the road. So I'll go ahead and uh, bail this field up and then we've got to go and collect the bail up like that. Time has creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire Coming down the last row now, um, we've got a nice field full of uh, bales over here. I'm actually surprised how many bales we've got just from this one field. So uh, we're doing pretty well there. Uh, the other workers are sort of towards the end of their fields as well for the job they're doing, which is good. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and tidy up a little bit of this grass on the end here um, that we just sort of 
flung a little bit with the uh, machine earlier. We've not quite got a bale in there. In fact, if we actually reverse into the field, it is close enough um, to unload the bale, I think. But not quite. So, unfortunately, we've got 96% of a bale in the back. Um, but there we go. We'll go ahead and uh, just put the baler back for now. We are going to be baling up into the field in a minute. Um, but for now, we need to go ahead and actually grab the bale trailer that we have right here. And we need to grab the Manitou with the bale forks on. And we're going to go ahead and load up some of these bales. And, uh, hopefully store them somewhere for uh, selling. So let's go ahead and just drive into the field. That will do there nicely. We'll grab the money too. And we need to go and grab bail for for it. I have to go to the end. Stacking bales on a bale trailer is not one of the easiest things you can do. Um, we also put a little bit of grass as well. Um, but let's give this a go and see what we can do. Um, we need to boost it to the right height, spike it in the middle, and there we go, we lift it up. And go ahead and load up the bail in the bail trailer now and then offload them somewhere uh, where we can just keep them until I want to sell them. Okay, there we go. I figured it out. I just hadn't quite pressed the right button. 
you have to swing them out, you have to press unload, and then once you get them in the right position, you have to hit unload here, and then uh, it will drop them uh, above where you want. But, like I said, it's nice that you can lift the bales up and down, so in a minute when we've got another trailer, we can lift them up and hopefully sit them on top. Uh, so that's a really nice feature. I really really like this trailer. It is a mod So if you want to download this for yourself, it is the uh, Roland trailer pack and there are multiple different uh, Trailer options you can choose whether you have the auto separate feature or not. I decided to put it on You don't have to use it even if you have it applied you can turn it on and off So it's one of those things. It's best to just put it on the trailer And if you don't want to use it, you can just turn it off well, there we go um we've got some more fields to do so let's have a little look at the progress um this field has been tedded now so um i'm going to do two fields we're going to do with hay so two fields will need to head the other two fields i'm going to do with silage which we're going to move on to do in the next episode uh, so what i'm going to do is off camera now I will do this field myself and we'll go stack the bales and then in the meantime I'm going to grow these two fields up ready for our next episode where we're going to be making some silage. Well there we go, uh, I have finished harvesting the two hay fields and I've dropped all the bales off here so we've got uh, quite a few bales there. Some of them I'm probably going to sell because we don't have any animals right now, so we don't need them. Um, but some of them I will probably keep for when we do have animals. So those two fields over there are now going to get cultivated and I'm going to plant them up with some new crop off camera. These two fields here I am keeping for the next episode where we'll go and row those up and we'll actually do some silaging. Uh, so stay tuned for that if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video and if you've enjoyed today's episode then it would be awesome if you could drop the video a like and subscribe again if you are new but thanks all so much for watching and I'll see you next week